Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about what it's like to work at a bookstore. So first of all, I should preface this by saying I look like I'm drinking a jar of urine. I am not in fact drinking urine, I am drinking mango tea because I'm about to spill all the tea. Not literally. For three years, I think starting in 2017, so from 2017 to 2019, 2020, something like that. I worked at a books a million here in the Midwest where I live. Everything in this video is gonna be based on my personal experience at a corporate bookstore. Obviously this is gonna be totally different based on the type of bookstore you might wanna work at, but these are all the things I experienced while I was there. I thought this might be an interesting video because I'm the type of person I like to have as much knowledge beforehand before I do anything in life, really. I like to research and stuff, so I thought these are the things that if I had known ahead of time, I mean, I still would have worked there, but it maybe would have been nice to know some of these things ahead of time. So I'm gonna split it up into a few different categories and I'm gonna start with all the pros and then I'll leave the cons towards the latter half of the video. So let's get into it. So first up, one of the pros would be the advanced reader copies of books, also known as ARCs. So an ARC is exactly what it sounds like, an advanced reader copy. So the bookstore obviously gets it before the publication date because it's supposed to give us time as employees to possibly read it so that we have something to kind of um, talk to the customers about when the book does actually come out. It's not always like the stuff that's gonna be like on the bestseller list. Sometimes they're like really random and like not worth reading at all. But those were really cool because it's always neat to get things ahead of time. Like who doesn't want to read something that's like not published yet? That was always really cool to me. And then of course, even if we, did, we didn't get an advanced reader copy of a book, you still get the books earlier than Tuesday. So Tuesday is new release day, but you always get the books ahead of time, right? Because they have to give us time as the employees to unload the truck, all the totes full of books, get the books onto carts that we would then take out onto the floor to shelve. So you always get books ahead of time anyway and you can check them out. So that leads me to my next pro, which is the bookstore kind of works like a library. So you can check out books for two weeks, read them, bring them back, or re-sign them out just like at a library. I think I ended up checking out like almost a hundred books in that three years time, um, which obviously saved me a lot of money. So that was pretty sweet. The next pro of course was the employee discount. If I remember right, I think it was like 30%. I could be wrong, I, I can't remember exactly what it was. Most places are gonna offer an employee discount no matter where you work, but obviously books can be kind of expensive even though they're just like paper and ink and glue. It was nice to be able to get a little bit of a discount on things that I wanted to actually purchase and not just check out. The next pro would have to be author events. So you do get to meet some authors I wanna say I met five or six different authors throughout my time there and I did three author signings. So any kind of author event is super cool. Even if you don't know the author or have never read any of their books, it's still really cool to like meet someone who's actually written and published something, especially if you're like me and you're an aspiring author. The biggest authors we ever had come in were PC and Kristen Cast, who wrote the House of Night book series. It was super cool to see people come in, like the fans come in with their books to get them signed. Mind. They were always super chill, really cool. I even was able to chat with PC Cast, the mom, because it's like a mother-daughter writing duo. Um, I was able to chat with the mom really briefly after the event ended and she was like waiting at the exit door, like the back entrance where they come in. Um, of course they don't come in through the front because that wouldn't be cool enough. I kind of cornered her back by the bathroom <laughs> um, because I was like, hey, like, I kind of want to do what you do, like, can you give me any advice? And so she was pretty cool. She gave me like a couple of things that I I had already known about, but it was it was still cool to like get them from an actual published author. So the author events are definitely the most exciting thing that we ever did because it's always a big affair. It's not, you know it's not just a normal day at the bookstore where you're shelving books for hours on end, but you actually get um, a lot of people coming in and they're excited and that energy is kind of um, it's very uplifting. So the author events were always even though they're few and far between, they're really really cool. 
Now on to some of the cons. So um, like I said, this is just my experience and I did work at a corporate bookstore, but that is I think ultimately a big downside. If it's a big chain bookstore, there are things that just aren't gonna be as cool. Eventually they had us wear uniforms, we all had to wear the same shirts, which did make us look more professional and more unified and like easier for customers to spot. There are gonna be things working at a corporate store that aren't gonna be as fun, I would imagine, as if you worked at like a local bookstore. Ultimately, it's retail. So you are dealing with, mm-hmm, customers who are not happy, their online order didn't come in, we didn't price match, so like that was a big thing. People were so annoyed and confused why like things were cheaper online and we couldn't price match it. It's still retail and you still have those crabby customers sometimes, so keep that in mind. The next con is the flippin' membership card. I think it books a million if I remember right, and I used to have the whole spiel memorized because you have to know so much. You have to know the ins and outs of how that card works, but you have to pitch it every single time. I'm not someone who like enjoys repeating themselves, so that's something to think about, and I know Barnes & Noble has something really similar. You do get perks if you sell the cards. You get a little bit, tiny little bit, like cents, like a quarter or something for every card you sell on your paycheck. So it's like, it's nice to get rewarded for it, but I just, I, it drove me crazy sometimes when like my numbers would be down and we would have, like the, the manager would have to come to you and be like, you need to start selling the card better or whatever. You can actually get in trouble there f and potentially fired if you refuse to sell their card. You do have to have sort of a sales person side of your personality if you're going to be successful there and you're not going to absolutely hate it. So keep that in mind. Another con, and this is probably specific to Books A Million, they don't pay very well at all. <laughs> they do not pay hardly anything. I worked there because I loved the books. Be very aware of the fact that unless you are going to work for years to eventually being like the manager, like a store manager, you're not gonna make very much. I wanna say the store managers are salaried, but they also can work more than 40 hours a week. Like they can get called in if something goes wrong or whatever, so keep that in mind. You're not really gonna make any money at it. It's not gonna be like a career. So don't do it for the money. Do it for the experience. The pay obviously will kind of depend on what state you're in. But do keep that in mind, it's it's not a long haul type thing unless you're willing to work your way up the corporate ladder. And then the final con that I will mention is the amount of hours that you spend going through the alphabet in your head when you're shelving books will kind of drive you a little bit crazy and you're definitely gonna go home with a headache some nights because of that. The amount of books that you take off the cart and then to, like to put on the actual bookshelf where the customers take them off of, thousands of books thousands of hours. It's kind of mind numbing. Keep that in mind because that will most likely be an aspect of the job and it's not super fun. I think that's it guys. That's all I can think of. Um, let me know if you have any like specific questions in the comments. The next couple of videos are going to be super fun. I'm going to get some journal content up. I've got a book haul coming, a February wrap up at the end of this month. So keep your eyes peeled. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.